your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video, share its wisdom with those in your circles who could find it beneficial, and become a subscriber to our channel for an uninterrupted flow of enlightening content. Your support is not only acknowledged, but also holds a pivotal role in our continual endeavor to disseminate these profound messages. Let me tell you the truth. There is no space waiting for you in destiny. You create your space with understanding. The illusion that there is a space waiting for you is a joke, an expensive joke. If it will ever happen in your destiny, there is a responsibility component. My assignment tonight as we proceed is to get you angry. You keep giving last year's excuses. This year will look like last year. You need to get angry in your spirit. As a preacher, as a business person, it is not a blind anger. It's an anger that is supported by light. It says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new light. hallelujah so when you know him your next assignment is to now begin to learn methodically the mysteries of the kingdom are the only ladders by which the saints ascend to the place of destiny these mysteries are ladders they are not an information that is what you climb to make prophecy happen it does not happen because it was spoken to you no there are many things that God and prophets said to people in the Bible that did not come to pass. Because that which they should do as far as engaging prophecy was not done. The Bible says forever, O Lord, your word is settled. Not everywhere, in heaven. In heaven, not in your life. There is something you must do to make it settled. Please sit down. Are we learning so the bible tells us that god has given us all things all things every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in christ but watch this now let's go to job chapter 38 and verse 33 let me your attention now job was having a discussion with god at this point job was frustrated he could not make sense of the things that had been happening around his life back to back to back to back this guy kept hearing bad news I, I i wonder how the kind of emotional strength job had is noteworthy that in one day you come with a report you lose your estate you lose your children and there is always one witness left at the end of it the bible says he bowed down and he worshiped but he did not stop there one day job got angry and he said god we need to talk we need to talk and then God asked Job one question that he's asking you tonight. This question holds the key to your exploits this year. I'm praying that God will open your eyes to see. Let's read together. If we can have NIV, else that would be fine. Job 38 and verse 33. It says, knowest thou, all right, go ahead. NIV, ready? Let's read, one to read. Do you know the laws of the heavens? And can you set up God's dominion using those laws in the earth? Do you know the laws that regulate heaven? Heaven is not just heaven just because God is there. There are mysteries that make heaven a place of dexterity. He says, have you mastered the art of transporting those realities? It is by those realities you will exert dominion upon the earth. Do you know the laws of the heavens? And can you use them to set up God's dominion? Not on the earth, over the earth. What makes heaven so dexterous 
there is no record of god roaming around heaven supervising loyalty yet disloyalty is judged immediately what law did he put in place what makes heaven a place of abundance what makes heaven a place of love he's saying that those realities you can take those principles and transport them to your life he says let it be done in earth not on earth as it is done in heaven your kingdom come thy will be done in earth the first earth is not the ground you the earthen vessel let his will be done in your life listen when jesus was teaching us to pray this is what he said he said when you pray pray thus our father which art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come notice now your kingdom come do you know why because when his kingdom comes and his will is being done the remaining part of the prayer you will not need to pray it again give us our daily bread forgive us our sins are we together now that those other parts of the prayer only become necessary because his kingdom has not come and his will has not been done hallelujah so the believer's life is at the mercy of your understanding please sit down and engaging the mysteries of the kingdom now please pay attention i have taught you that the word of god is a compendium of all the possibilities that are contained in god are we together every time you open the bible you are interacting with the mysteries of the kingdom these are the forces that control dominion dominion is not an impartation you have heard me say it is the resultant effect of your understanding and engaging the mysteries of the kingdom you define your possibilities upon the strength of understanding what are the possibilities that are available for us in christ lend me your attention as i list them for you favor speed lifting in fact you find them captured in the worship that was in revelation chapter 4 and revelation chapter 5 worthy is the lamb that was slain he said to receive for us and he begins to list them seven of them but there are many more everything that makes for the revelation of the glory of god in your life is connected to a mystery let me repeat myself everything that makes for the revelation of the glory of god in your life is connected to a mystery look up please financial prosperity is connected to a mystery divine health and healing is connected to a mystery speed is connected to a mystery honor connected to a mystery favor connected to a mystery longevity connected to a mystery influence connected to a mystery are we together now the anointing even in ever increasing dimensions connected to a mystery don't just desire the outcomes you must learn the mysteries that connect to the results you desire so there is just blind desire with all due respect in the body of christ the average believer can tell you what he desires instinctively we know that if my life becomes a capture of health passion consecration prosperity speed honor imagine that kind of believer paint that picture in your mind such a wholesome believer that has a rich capture of the glory of god but the average believer cannot explain to you intelligently the mysteries that are connected to their desires king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship you King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Listen, as I'm speaking to you, you are not just hearing a man. There is an anointing that is quickening your spirit. Something is happening to you. I'm not a lecturer. Are we together? These are spirit communications. Something is happening within your spirit, man, that will stop you from being ordinary he said in ezekiel 2 and verse 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the mysteries of the kingdom so when you find certain believers living exceptional lives through diligence through submission to instructions taking advantage of the grace of god they have found one or more 
or many and you see the keys for your dominion are finite they are not infinite like a curriculum that a student passes through his learning continues but you can exhaust a curriculum the bible calls it marvelous light it is the curriculum that controls our dominion you can exhaust it and know you have held the keys of the kingdom do you believe this so you will find men who experience this transition in the spirit on account of light something would have happened to them and you see certain results godlike in their nature these are not results that humans can afford you don't get it in the bank you don't get it in the marketplace they have mastered the art of importing divine realities from the realm of the spirit to be made manifest here and now this is what it means to be a living epistle that your life becomes a continuation of someone's bible study god refers you to men who want to learn him your life is an on on ending wonder not a theoretical wonder not an assumed wonder is someone learning now please look at me i'm standing right here with several prayer requests there are several of them here i'm sure there are several of them that will be coming did you know that almost every one prayer request here that you see there is a mystery that is connected to that outcome did you hear what i said it is true for most people their major problem centers around finances or perhaps their health are we together or perhaps a job perhaps some destiny helper to lend you their attention did you know that nothing just happens this is where both science and religion agree talk to me intelligent people you went to school yeah sir isaac newton in his study of mechanics he postulated certain laws and remember one of the laws says a body in a uniform motion or state of rest it will remain that way except compelled by an external force to act otherwise what is the meaning of that that means every condition remains like that until a force greater than what keeps it is exerted it is true it is true i am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving god wholeheartedly we warmly invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel, and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.